anything in your life until you take a step further to put the information into action by obeying it. You don't see any results. So a lot of people may go to marriage seminar, they will hear all these things, but they will never apply it. And these are the people Jesus called them fool because he has known what is right, but he's not doing it. So it's like he's building in the sun. But nobody here is a fool in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, so just receiving the information doesn't make it work. Some people think that, okay, because I went to the marriage seminar and I listened to God's word, now I'm expecting everything to turn around. Without making any effort to apply what you have heard or what you have learned or the information you have received. They think by sitting down and listening to it, automatically it's going to work. It does not work that way. Until you are practicing it, it is just mere information. But when you begin to put the information into obedience by practicing it, that is when you begin to see the results. It means that you have now turned the raw material into a finished product which you can now enjoy. So please, don't just come to the marriage seminar and go home and lie down and wait for things to turn around. Nothing is going to turn around. You are going to use the information, the light that you have received to turn what you don't like in your marriage around. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why I trust God that every single person, every single marriage that has been represented here during this marriage seminar, next year by now, by God's grace, as we go into another seminar, your testimony will be written. Amen. 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 When we gather together again next year for another marriage seminar, you will give a testimony that will make it look like we wouldn't even need to, to teach. Your testimony alone will, will be enough to turn people's marriages around for good. Amen. Because you are coming to stand here and testify that last year I was here and the man, the word came I received the light and I started walking in the light and God began to show up in my marriage. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because what we are doing here is of God. This is of the Holy Spirit. And we are not giving you religious teachings, but we are imparting divine revelation unto you. Therefore, your marriage must be affected. Otherwise, you wasted your time coming here. That is the truth. But nobody here will ever waste his time coming to the house of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So understand that my marriage must change because I have received light. It's, it's a decision you are going to have to make. And you are determined to put the word into practice. So my marriage will change. It will not remain the same because I have received light. So you go home and you tell the devil, devil, hear me. I did not know it before, but now I know. You are finished in my home. Praise the Lord. You are done, devil. You are finished. From today, you have no room in my home. I'm not running to any prophet to tell me anything. I'm not going to any powerful man anywhere to tell me anything. Now I have received light. I'm a child of God and I stand on my ground in God's word. And I say, devil, you are out of my marriage. Amen. And as you begin to declare that and begin to put that revelation you have received into practice, you will see God manifesting in your home. And so shall it be with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. And so you have to understand that it takes the two, the husband and the wife, to build the home. And one thing we also have to accept is that good 
marriage is something you work at. And it's a hard work. Now, this is what a lot of people don't want to hear. But that's the truth. Building a successful home is a hard work. It is a work. Are you understanding me? I mean, write that down. It is a work. And it is hard work. Lazy people never enjoy good marriage. It's a hard work. You don't wish it. Nobody will lay hands on you and profess a good marriage and you go and sleep and it will happen. You don't pay money for prayers to receive good marriage. It's a hard work on your part as a husband, on your part as a wife, based on God's word. If you are ready to take up your responsibility, then you are in for good marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is very funny why people will easily be deceived by thinking that when you come to the things of God, you just sleep and it is happening. So when they hear about good marriage, okay, yes, I want good marriage. And then they go to a place, they lay hands on them, they pour oil on them, they prophesy, and they go home, sit down, waiting for good marriage. Now, why don't you do that at your job? Yeah? Do that at your job. You get a job and you have to work for the job to succeed. You just go and sit down in your office and just trust God to make the job succeed. Don't do anything. Just sit down. I'm a Christian. I'm a, God is with me. So I'm sitting down. God, I believe you. I know you can do all things. You, are, you, do, you don't fail anyone. And I trust you. You know I trust you. You know, keep trusting God and don't do anything. And let's see what happened to that job. Are you getting the point? So it is with your marriage. You don't just sit down and wish. Those that are wishing for things to happen, they are the very people running after all kinds of people for prayer so that automatically something will just happen. But it does not work that way. God wants us to be responsible children. From today, we receive the grace to be responsible husbands and wives. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it is a work. It is work. It is work. And the man and the, uh, the woman both have their responsibility. So once you get the right concept about marriage, you are able to work, you know, to make your, your marriage a, a success. Uh, you know, a success. Because um, one of the reasons why people are suffering in their marriages is because they have wrong concepts, wrong ideas about marriage. Are uh, you getting the point? Wrong ideas about marriage. It, it has also caused a lot of problems in the homes, you know, because when you have wrong information about marriage, it affects your marriage. When you have negative information about your marriage, it affects your marriage in a negative way. So wrong ideas about marriage, you know, consequently will, will, will result in wrong uh, uh, marriage or uh, a bad marriage. So it is very necessary for us to get the, uh, the right information, the right ideas about marriage. So the first idea you are receiving is that marriage is work. It is work. I have to work at it. I have to work at it. I have to work at it. A lot of people suffered broken homes or they are suffering bad home or marriages because they never ever work at it. Never. They got married, the woman thinks, ah, now I've gotten him, he has married me, it's settled. Especially when it is within the body of Christ. Oh, he's married me, he can't divorce me because in Christian, Christianity we don't divorce, so that is it. I've gotten him. I told you the other time, divorce is possible, and it is not all divorce that are sin. Are you understanding me? It is not all divorce that are sin, and divorce is possible. But nobody here will suffer divorce in Jesus' name. Amen. It will never happen in your home. Your marriage will never suffer divorce in the name of Jesus. Amen. But you have to understand that it is possible. And so when you know it is possible, then you tell yourself, my marriage will never suffer divorce. Therefore, I'm going to work. 